Hi everyone, this is Mahesh from techlims.com. Through this video tutorial, I am going to describe how to create a shortcut or a hotkey in Windows, maybe Windows Vista or Windows 7, to enable or disable firewall. When you are troubleshooting network problems, one of the first things to do is disable the built in Windows firewall. But the problem here is you will have to perform many steps to enable firewall or disable firewall and you might have worried can we make a simple shortcut icon that can ease your job yes we can do that here is a tip which will help you to create a shortcut in the desktop to enable or disable windows firewall the first thing that we have to do is, is to create a shortcut so we will have to create a shortcut icons for both the disable and enable firewall right click on the desktop and select new shortcut you have to give the command for enabling or disabling the firewall first we will disable the firewall there is a command to do that net sh firewall and you have to set the operation mode so set op mode disable so this will actually invoke a disable command for your firewall and the next let's name it as disable firewall so that's it we are done and I'm going to enable my desktop icon so that you can see the firewall and most of you might want to give a good looking icon yes so I'm going to use this icon for disabling and the shortcut will not work directly you have to make it run as an administrator so just go to properties and click advanced and you have to run this as administrator so click ok so when I double click this your firewall has been disabled and if you want to verify your firewall has been enabled or disabled so you'll have to go to control panel and choose windows firewall and you can see that your firewall has been disabled now uh, let's create a shortcut for enabling the firewall so just go there and type the same command net sh on which operation that you want to do for firewall and you have to set the operation mode set op mode and now we are going to enable if you remember last time we gave disable as the command and i'm going to name this as enable firewall so i am done with shortcut here and i am going to give another good looking icon for this so i am done now i have to give an administrator privilege for running this so check your run as administrator and click ok so now we are done so double clicking this will make the process easier for you to enable the firewall and you can verify by opening your control panel now the windows firewall has been enabled and as a caution here always remember to turn the firewall on after you are done with your troubleshooting especially if you are using public wireless networks okay guys that's it and let me catch you with another tip quickly thank you very much